share screeners enabled you can start good morning everyone uh, we are going to do a program to check whether a number is prime or not uh, first we have to enter a number using the input function then uh, we want to assign a variable i is equal to 2 uh, now uh, while i is greater than n we find the remainder using module function so if we get a remainder 0 then the uh, number is not a prime and we use break to stop the program. If uh, it is not zero, then we, uh, we add one to i and divide again. So after dividing all the numbers till n, uh, if we didn't get zero's reminder, reminder, that means that the number is a prime. So it will go to the else statement and print that is a prime number. Hello, is it over, Muhammad Ifan? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Uh, yes. I'll check the. I will check the recorded uh, video. Uh, what about others? Hope you understood. Yes. Nevin. Understood. So, if you have any further doubts regarding this. Prime number question, you can call Ashwin or Mohammed Irfan personally. They will explain to you. Okay. No power, no light. Okay. Okay. So let's continue with our for loop and uh, so we need to know something uh, from that. So I will ask Ashish. Ashish, tell me what is the use of a for loop? Why there is a for loop? There is a while loop in Python. Why there is a requirement of a for loop? Ashish Bini. Yes. Unmute. For loop is easier than value what did you say for loop is easier than value easier so, than while loop how why no need of update expression no need of text expression not need of integrational 
what is the meaning of no need of this expression this expressions are there in for loop what what is the what is the difference where is this uh, expressions without text text expression without update expression we can't do anything inside the loop whether it is a while loop or for loop why there is a need of so when you say you don't have to explicitly write all these things okay ashish am i clear yes, to you sir. you don't have to write yes. explicitly already the update expression you are writing that is implicit implicitly you are writing everything so very good so uh, for loop is very simple is easier than while loop and you don't have to write explicitly the initialization expression test expression and update expression everything is inside this one line one line of coding and the question to the uh, when need to use this for loop and when to use while loop you can use both the loop but there are a few situations where you need to use a while loop you can't use a for loop there so what is it starting condition and ending condition yes see the loop is a counting loop counting loop means you know the how how many number of times the loop will execute if you know that then you can go for a for loop the question is a uh, num display numbers between the limits so you know that the limit will be the from the uh, lower limit to the upper limit so if you know the limit is better to go with for loop if you don't know when the loop will stop or you are asking the user whether you need to continue or not in uh, that kind of situations you have to use while loop okay so let's see uh, again a theory part of a uh, while loop and in sorry for loop in for loop we usually we use range function there are many methods to write a for loop the easiest method is using a, a range function so what is the meaning of a range function krishna chandran range Ah yes. Upper and lower limits. Upper and lower limits. That's all. What is the use of a range function? What will be the starting value? What will be the ending value? Reena. the starting value in the first number in the bracket yes mm. and the end value will the last number mm. then it is like between between 10 and 20 when you say between 10 and 20 normally 10 and both 10 and 20 inclusive but when we write inside the range function between 10 and 20 means 10 to 19 20 won't be included that is the only difference when you write a range function if you write only one parameter inside the range function what will be the starting value of that variable aditya raj ma'am 0 0 very good if you write is it aditya raj who said the answer i told him okay so when you write only a single parameter inside the range function it it always starts with 0 to the number minus 1 if you start with the two parameters then the starting value will be the first parameter the ending value will be the last value minus 1 and if you have three parameters in range function what is the use of that sharat I don't know, ma'am. You don't know. Very, very, very good. So tomorrow, uh, next class, Sharad will be explaining the range function. Okay. If you have any doubts, you can call me, and I'll explain to you. So next class, uh, there will be explanation of range function from 
ശരത് ഓക്കെ അശ്വിന് സ്മൈലി ഹാപ്പി ഹി ബിക്കെയിം ഹാപ്പി ദെൻ ഡോണ ടെൽ മീ ഇഫ് യു ഹാവ് ത്രീ പരാമീറ്റേഴ്സ് ഇൻ റേഞ്ച് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ വാട്ട് ഇസ് ഹൗ ഇറ്റ് വർക്ക്സ് ത്രീ പരാമീറ്റേഴ്സ് ഇൻ റേഞ്ച് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ിമിറ്റർ step value whether you want to increment with the loop increment the loop variable or you need to decrement the loop variable okay this is a continuation of the previous classes okay so let's see okay so so let just a little bit uh, theory part so just note it down a for loop is used for iterating over a sequence so normally we use numbers isn't it aditya raj normally we use numbers but you can use a for loop uh, and the variables can be a data types can be a tuple a dictionary a set or a string that we studied the different types of data types so normally we use integer data type in uh, for loop but you can use other data types also that is list tuple dictionary set or a string uh amal raj what is the difference what is this tuple and what is this list unmute yes ma'am um, ma'am for the tuple we can uh, not change the value tuple or list uh, list 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 a tuple is immutable list is mutable when you say the definition you have to say tuple as a data type as a data type it is enclosed in which bracket round bracket or parenthesis and separated by comma set of items separated by comma and enclosed in round bracket when you say it about list it should be enclosed in sharat it should be enclosed in comma B- bracket what kind of brackets square bracket curly bracket round bracket in a list it should be enclosed in a square bracket okay what about dictionary sharat i don't know ma'am dictionary dictionary i don't know ma'am uh, so i have one more thing for you range and dictionary <clears throat> nevin 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 <clears throat> out of station gauri what is a dictionary Ma'am, it should be curly bracket. Hmm. In dictionary, what are the different things you have? Continue. Dictionary. With who? With comma. Ah, yes. yes. your voice is breaking in dictionary there uh, there are key value pairs isn't it key value pairs the key and value will be separated by 
full colon and the dictionary will be enclosed in curly bracket or it is called as square bracket i uh, sorry flower bracket okay so that is about for loop so for loop is used for iterating over a sequence okay let's continue this is another method that i'll explain to you the range function so what is the use of a range function a range function returns a sequence of numbers from 0 by default what is the meaning of 0 by default if we have only one parameter inside the range function it always starts with 0 what is the meaning of 0 if we have two parameters automatically it will be a incrementation condition that incrementation by 1 so range function by default it always starts with range range in bracket 3 the meaning is that it always starts with zero the value always starts with zero if you have only one parameter if you have two parameters range in bracket 1 comma evelyn what will be the values if you write range in bracket 3 range in bracket 3 0 1 2 evelyn 0 1 2 the value will be starting from 0 1 2 louder please zero zero one two one two okay very good range in bracket one comma four adul one comma four what will be the possible values one two three one two three very good so this is how it works <clears throat> so for x in range 6 print x so the output should be ashish the output should be zero zero 1 1 2 2 3 3 or Or five. Right. Let's see whether whatever you have told us right or wrong. <laughs> Hope you can see the output window. The output is zero, one, two, three, four, five. So this is again an online uh, compilation uh, by w3schools.com. You will get another online uh, compiler. that you can compile uh, the same way you did in programmers.com so the answer is correct 0123456 now the, the thing i have told you already the range 6 is not the values of 0 to 6 but the values from 0 to 5 okay that is about the by default uh, the range function should have at least a single parameter if there is a single parameter the all, always the value starts with 0 0 to the number minus 1 now the next method of range function the next one is 
with two parameters. Range function, if there is only one parameter, it uh, starts with zero as a starting value. If we have two parameters, the starting value is here. What is the value? Uh, make them. Two, three, four, five. Two, three. No, the value start this starting parameter. Always start. It starts with the starting parameter. That the starting parameter is two. So you should not uh, say it as three. Starting parameter value is two, but the ending value will be six minus one. So two, three, three four, make now. Four, three, four, five. So let's see uh, whatever you told is right or wrong. So you can see the coding here for x in range, two comma six print x. Two, three, four, five, the answer. Okay, this is what you will get when you write range two comma six. Clear? Zauri? Yes. If you have three parameters, if you have three parameters, the it is possible to specify the increment value by adding a third parameter. So here, two comma thirty comma three. So the this is a start value. This is a end value, but end value means end value minus one. This is called the step value. So who can tell me the answer for this? Um, Anjo. What should be the output? You can see the coding, right? For x in range, 2 comma 30 comma 3, print x. Anjo, Anjo CP, unmute. Yeah. Huh? Tell me the answer. Unmute. Anjo. You don't know. You don't know. So range function will be explained. The three parameters range function will be explained by Anjo. If you don't know, you, uh, next day, next class. Okay. Elvina. Elvina. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Uh, say the output. How how the output will be? Ma'am, it uh, starts from two to. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Right. Uh, two. Next value of x will be. Uh, it starts from 2, 2 and uh, uh, that uh, step value 3. So what, what will be the next value of x? Uh, 2, 3 up to. Uh, range function is written as 2, comma, 30, comma, 3. So the starting value is 2. What will be the next value? Um, uh, 2... What is the increment value? It is written as uh, the third parameter. What is the increment incrementing value? Uh, 30. Incrementation value. This is just the two is the starting value. 30 is the end, end value and three is the step value. So yep. step value means the increment. It will increment the value by the step value. What is the increment value? It is uh, written as the third parameter is three. 
so after writing displaying the two, uh, the first value to the next value should be 2 plus step value 3 what uh, so 2 plus 3 5 five then next next time 5 plus step value uh, then 2 5 8 uh like that it will go okay so let's see uh, the output see the output for x in range 25a 11 14 17 20 23 26 29 after 29 the next value is 29 plus 3 uh 32 the 33 won't be coming because the range we have given as 30 shivani turn on your video everyone turn on your video Okay. Is it clear now? Is it clear now? Shivani. Yes, ma'am. So next class, uh, Ancho and uh, then who else? I told Sharath. Sharath will be explaining the for loop and arrange function. Then next class. I will ask you questions. Study well, otherwise you will get the next day's seminar uh, for that corresponding topic. Okay, that's all for today. See you. Bye. Take care. Thank you.